Hello there, I ordered the Dia Atro Twin Bed Frame with headboard, it's 18 inch. The link will be in the description. Check it out and see what you think. They have bigger sizes as well as Twin XL, Full, Queen, King, and California King. So this is how it came in the box. I just like took a picture of it so you know how it may arrive when you order yours. Just make sure you inspect it. The box that comes with the material, luckily it's made of plastic so it's much more sturdier than cardboard. So I'm going to show you step by step how to assemble the bed frame. Now let me place the camera on a good angle so you can see the progress I do in assembling the bed frame step by step. Always inspect your box, make sure it's not damaged. In my case it wasn't damaged, luckily the box protected it. The materials are nice and organized, parts are opened or missing, or I don't think they're missing, but yeah, always inspect to make sure it's good. It's all there in one place. So once I took it out, I opened it up and make sure there was no holes or any pieces that are seem to be missing, but all seems to be in place. Thanks to the yellow straps, keeps everything in one place. So there's different pieces for different sections of the bed frame. Once you start assembling it, you start opening up each one at a time. Okay then, so I just assembled this part, the piece that has the user manual and the small pieces. These, make sure you have all pieces inside. Here, it bust open, but I have all those four pieces and four bolts. All the bolts, I have all the four bolts in here. So none of them are missing, which is good. And make sure you also have the user manual attached to the small pieces pack, like this. And also that. So I opened up the user instruction setup manual, and so I'm gonna continue with the instructions. Yeah, I'm gonna use this as the beginning, the first step here. So yeah, go step by step, little by little. So this PG's headboard, make sure that they both match. So you can see in this picture they don't. So just a tip before you start assembling it. When you assemble these park the angle for the headboard, you'll be using the screws, which is these, the M8 Ascris M818s, which is these. You use all of them for step one, which is here. So you'll use it for here and here. You use it for Y and X. This is pieces to confirm the four pack of the M18, M818, which is these in the corner, bottom left. Of your set, so your bolts, which is this one, M818. Now you'll be using it for here. You use four, two on one side, and two on the right side. That's step one. Make sure when you install it that you're facing the same direction as you're facing it so for here you use the bolts but you make sure it's the right one do not do not place it like this because then it's not correct it's like this it's wrong make sure you have it like this the same as the other one so it has to match like that. make sure you have it correct like and matches both sides if it doesn't, then you're doing it wrong. Just take it out, reverse it. So it'll make sure it matches here. Because if it's like this, then it's wrong. Make sure it matches so it's like this. And if it's like that, then just screw it on. Bolt, bolt it on. Okay, so now we're going to be in step two. This is step two. Make sure you have your N, your M, and K um, materials. So this one. As you can see, I'm currently in step two. It's on the side right now. It's like I pre-assemble it, so I have to make sure it's correct. That one and the bottom one is my N. That's my N. And the center piece is my my M, as in Mario. And then my top piece, which is my K. There's that one. Goes the same way as my illustration there. I make sure they're facing the correct way. Facing you, the holes facing you. Yeah, same as here. That will go here. Yeah, that's how it goes. Also, so when you're about to assemble it, the bolts, pay attention to the color orientation. The first one is yellow, blue, and black. So the S will be the ones that you'll be using already. So I'm gonna go to your chart here. It's gonna be the M8, 
18, 8, uh, x means the, the quantity. So you get 4 here and 4 here. These will be the ones you'll be using for your, so your, your headboard. So this one you'll be using for here, the top part, and left side of it as well, left and right. You get two there. Yeah, so two here and two over there for your the ones here. Your S, which is this one here. It's yellow. Make sure you do that. Then the blue is for your M. You get four pieces, two pieces in here, two pieces in the other end, four in total. Here's your L1. So your L1 will be which you see it here. Let's see L1 four pieces M6 10 which is your M6 10 so you go here your M6 10 get four of those and that will be for your L1 so these pieces here on your chart here your pieces uh, L, th your these M6 10 four of them will go for your L1 it goes one there, one there, one there, and four in total. And your next step for your your L twos, your L twos will go f when you check here. L two was the M eight twelve. So you go here. Is your M eight twelve? Only two. So that this is the one where you be ch pick uh, using for your N. So, so your these ones here in your home packet will be this one, your L2 M812 two piece. Will go for your L2. Will go for your N part, one on one right side and one on the left. So you only have two. Use for those. So those are the steps for step two. Feel free to go back at and check it again in the video so you'll get it correctly the first time. So tip before you start to assemble the bolts here and for there make sure you already have it pre-assembled like what I mean is have it connected already or not connected but have it in place for your M here your piece is M so there's one single piece is your M make sure you have it already inside just waiting for the bolts for the next step have it inside and also your other piece which is your N as a Nancy this piece here you have it already inside so it's easier for so you just put the bolts at the end after you finish you start one side and continue downward so it's easier so make sure you have that before it's just a quick tip so you don't have to disassemble the bolts on top or anywhere you start it and on top to place it in before you start so that will save you time it hasn't happened to me but I just want to make sure you don't do that mistake and avoid it so time saver as well update on my i did have to move by the bed because i'm gonna have to put the other parts which are longer pieces of the bed frame so luckily i have a plug here that i'll be using an outlet but also i have this this is a hog plug great for like because it will be higher thankfully it's higher because of the height so it's nice and flat. It's connected to my printer, so you can hear it now. So yeah, it just makes it easy, low profile. Less, it won't be hitting the, the frame. It'll be like separation like that. Oh, there was really no need for the separation because the length, the it, it isn't that thick coming from the wall, it goes through the sides, so you can see from the top view. It's just good to have, you know, link in the description if you want to check it out, see what you think. So yeah, this is going to be the bed frame here. Also keep in mind when you're placing the bed frame, the holes will be facing away from you. So you're, right now, this is the face uh, where it's facing you, so the holes shouldn't be seen. So if you see the holes, make sure you flip it in the correct position. So when you install it, it looks like that. No holes in view, it only accept the ones that you'll be using. These four, two here and two on the other side, right there, um, for them to connect the the frame of the the bed frame which is that just pieces here i'll be doing also steps three 
you can see step three you'll be using the bed frames like in the wall and you'll be in next step will be to step three using e so e for both sides one here and one here and you're connecting you're connecting the screws i mean you're connecting the bolts so the bolts will be take a closer look so yeah so before the t's the m841s be two pieces of the long only two so one on each side here and here angled the light all right so yeah so it'll be step three so i'll be using so i already have this on the bed frame on the wall uh make sure so you can see there's no holes only two only the holes will be for the ones that you'll be placing with the frame here the e and e so yeah all right just make sure your the holes are facing inward and outward when you assemble for step four so make sure when you, you know for the last step like this make sure the holes are inside yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna do step three. Also, yeah, so uh, this is gonna be the over right now, the bed frame. I'm gonna plug here, my outlet, so good to use. It's gonna go underneath there and for my printer. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, so when you're disassembling, when you're opening up E, just be careful it doesn't grab your fingers because it does come apart. Make sure you place them flat on the ground, flat on the, on the floor, and just watch out for these because these pieces, you don't want them to hurt you, your fingers. So when you're grabbing it, make sure you grab it from one side. And that. Take out the wrapping as well, just be careful with your hands. It'll be like that. Just, yeah, it'll be like that long way like that so that's one side so just be careful when you're handling for step three uh pro the, the e which is this one's e you get two of them one and the other side of that one so just be careful because you don't want to hurt yourself so keep that in mind hold it with caution yeah because those pieces do slide down but when you're assembling it just make sure it's in nice and firm position it won't slide on you just be careful uh, just a tip right there just be careful when assembling e part e, uh, pieces e one and two just be careful okay for step three this part here you'll be using two bolts one on each side of the bed frame so you'll be using that that will be m8 of the t four pack of m841 your bolts here will be It'll be this part right here on the top right hand corner. Make sure when you're facing this, it's facing the correct way, which is the number should be on top like that. Numbers facing the correct position. For step three, you'll be using these these four bolts here. The M841s, the amount of six. Yeah, you'll be using this one here. M841. Same as described in step three. And you know it says four, but yeah, yeah, it's yeah, eight forty-one. Yeah, you use four of them for here. You put it from the outside in. So yeah, from the outside in. So what you'll do is you grab your bolts here, push it a little bit in like that, out of the way yet. Get closer. I feel it. So behind it so right then so make sure you have it leveled also and give another person to help you that'll be great because the more help you have the better you'll be if you have one if you can't just try to line it against the wall like i'm doing since i'm doing it myself so just like that align it that and as you're doing that use your other hand go from the back and just, just gent gently screw it in and when, once you do the top part a little bit not all the way go to the top the second one and do the same thing once it's locked then you're able to like just do it by your, with your hand hand tight as much as you can because you, that's all you want to do just hand tight it because you're just trying to make sure it's aligned correctly hand tightly 
Then I bandy do with, with the iron key, iron wrench. So I'm just hand tight as much as you can. As much as it will go, top and the bottom. Okay, then once it's like as much as you can, then now you can also now start with your adding wrench. Just do it like that, a little away from the wall so you can go complete 360. Once you have a little bit tight at the bottom, go to the top and do the same thing. Okay, once it's tight, make sure it's tight enough, not over tight because it's metal. So uh, then, then it's tight enough, that's good. Uh, other side, do the same thing on the other side. Now that you did the other side, now you're on to step four. Step four will be to do the legs on the end, A and B, and you'll be using the same. You'll be using the small, small bolts. The bolts will be the M818. So you go to your pack here, M818s. You'll be using these. So two on one side, two on the other side. So two on this side, two on this side. So when you look at the ones that you'll be needing, it'll be this. Be your legs for the ends. So I just verify it's an A, so it's an A, as you can see there, A. A and B, so make sure you're at the correct right there. This one's A, that'll be A, and the few here. And here. B, so that's B for that right side, and A on the left. Same as in the picture illustration, A and B, same square bolts here. As I mentioned, M818 for them. You'll, you'll be using all these, all for So for step four, you, it'll be like this. So you'll align it like this and L-shaped. Two holes like that. So look at it like this from the frame inside. I mean, L-shaped from the top. Here's the whole top view be like that and two two bolts that you'll be using so the two bolts will be a see and you use it like that like one from the top and one for the bottom you two of them and look like that and this one you're just assembling it just hand tight that's all you need at the moment once one is inside do the other one since I'm doing it with one hand, so this is just the way I'm doing it. So I'll help you assemble this peep, this bed frame in a good timely manner. So once it's hand tight, then you go your allen key, your allen wrench, and this just tighten it. Okay, then. now the bottom part. Don't forget to like this video if it's useful in any way. Okay, then the bottom part. And the next one will be the same thing on the other side. So all you do is the same thing as the other one, just inward as an L shaped. You do this like with one hand, using the help of my leg. Okay, so yeah. Just have to move the other piece away from that. And then the same thing, L shaped. That will be like that, and then the same thing as I did before. And just enough that it's holding. Okay, one side's good, one's the outside is a little bit of bottom, just enough that it's actually locked in so it doesn't come out All right. And so that's good right there. You just do the hand tight. As you can just like that, and enough high there. We can then the rest to just do it with the energy, like that. And just be careful you don't drop it like I have right there. Mm -hmm. Just enough that it's tight. Once it's tight, do the bottom one as well. Don't forget, and just. Yeah, it's enough, that's tight. So it should look like that. 
the L from the inside, L pointing inside the bed frame, and same as the other one, like that. So once you're done that, you're, you're done with step four, and now you're gonna do step five. Step five would be now, okay, yeah, step five would be the piece F. So the piece that came together with this section, probably be the first one, F right there, upside down. The grade that I didn't get. Okay then, so F will be pretty much assembling the way it should be. Like, and then other side, like that. But actually, yeah, I don't think you know, better the letter just comes on the inside the sticker. So, yeah, F inside, yeah, like that. And then you use the same screws you use the M832s. Let's bring the case here. So the M832s will be the shorter ones, but this came off. So it's right there. So these are the ones. So if yours isn't broken like the one I got, it'll be this one from your section here. Oops, bolts. It'll be this one's here, four of them. But they're right there since I knew they fell. Okay then, so those two four. Does the same thing, just put two on each side from the outside in. So you just do it in your hand tight like that. And do the same thing. You just put it in all the way. Make sure it's in all the way then. Also be needing the nuts here, so four pack of the nuts, which is uh, which is the M8 pack of four. And so these are the ones M8 pack of four. These are the ones you'll be using. Okay, so when you put these, make sure you're facing the ones that are the face. It's currently like that towards the bed frame. So I'll show you. So the way that I showed you will be like this: the head part away, like that. See, so I could do it with one hand. So it'll be like this. The flat part will be facing. The, so it'll be like that. Okay, it should be like that. So once you have it like that, then you just hand tight it. Once you've done one part, you do the other. Okay, see so if it helps. Right then. So now it doesn't help. Okay, right then. So I'm gonna just. Just tighten the same, same way I did it. Like that. For now, I just hand tight because you just want the bolts to go in. You get your little mini wrench here. And then your Allen key at the end. And just hold it in like, like that. Like that. And just move the Allen key or the wrench, whichever way you prefer. So make sure it's tight. So you continue until it's tight. Once one's tight, they do the bottom. Okay, now I'm pretty much almost done assembling the bed frame. I did this side and as well did the other side. <laughs> Looks good. This is the bed here. It's gonna go on top of this. Top, yeah. Now I need another next step. Which is going, <coughs> going to be now step six. You see step six will be here. Step six is just T. And you just need two, two of the bolts. Two piece of the M841s. Yeah. Alright then, so I'll be using G. G, so 
This one is the G right there. This is piece here. Maybe here in the center. Just face it up so I can see it. Just align it to the hole you know, like that. You can see right through it like that. My apologies for my slippers. A dog named Donut chewed it off. Yeah. Okay, so that that's that's one. And the other side of the hole too. Just put it together and make the hole both see through right there. See it through the hole in there. All right then. Now I'm gonna just do the bolt. And G and this one. Pack up two. I'm getting this one. Uh, I made 41. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Some of your pack will be this one. I made 41s. It's just two. One's here. We just face it down and just screw it in like so. And yeah, you can see it coming through. And do the same thing on the other side. <clears throat> just push it in a little bit inward and just tighten it up. <clears throat> now, when we do that, let's get the Allen key. Allen key of this. And just screw it in. <clears throat> All right, then like the other side as well. So once it's good. Do the other side, make sure it's nice and tight. That's good. All right then. Now the next step. Next step is seven. Step seven. Let's start a look. Step seven is the ten piece of the H. Seven. Make sure. Oh, okay. So here's one. It just goes in like so. And when it's like that, you just push it in with your, your hand or your finger. In this my case, my thumb. Okay, push it in, make sure you're standing, push it down, and you just continue, do the same thing, push it all the way downward, yeah. and then next one, do the same thing. And downward. Okay. You know when it's low enough and it's like leveled. You can see it's leveled. Continue with the rest. So I'll be sitting here going this way. And then do the same thing. Right hands one. Okay, once you press it on hard, I just use both hands in order to bring it down. So I did that, and that one is good. Two, three, four, five, six. I need more six of those. Okay, now let's continue. Okay. 
Okay, then so when you're done, it'll look like this. And there's Bobby. So yeah, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by Bob. Okay, so yeah, once you're done, your bed frame will look like this. Nice and assembled completely. Make sure your bolts are tight before you put to bed. And so, yeah, I hope my video helped in helping you assemble this metal bed frame for your storage here. Yeah. Yeah, the more storage, the better. So, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Also, the hug plug did help. It was under great, great, uh, it's like low enough that it didn't obstruct the, from the bed frame. So, that's good. So the extension cord also going through my for my printer and other electronic devices. Yeah, it's good. And that's just an update on that. This is the final. This is how it looks like now. After the bed frame is installed. Auto. And here we have enough storage space as well. Space. That's a good purchase. I like it. I recommend it. Link in the description. Before I finish, I also like to remind you that once you finish installing the bed frame keep the user manual and also the spare parts are included spare part to so save this i like to because in case you do move or change it you have it all saved so what i do i like to save all my user manuals from electronics to one like, and mechanical like this so save it and uh, for future reference in case you do move you know when you disassemble it you always want to make sure you have all the right pieces and yeah so keep this as well I like to, uh, what I do, I just keep it in an archive like this. Put it all together with my rest of my user manuals. So yeah, I just keep it there. Just, just save it when you never need it. Yeah. And little archive with my user manuals. Yeah. It's good to have, it better be organized, you know. And I keep all that stuff there. And that's my tip for you if you were thinking of just better keep it saved. Never need it in case you do move or sell this bed frame in the future. Always plan for the future. So, yeah, I always keep it saved. Archives here. So, there you go, like this. It's good to have. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Some bloopers. And yeah, go to frame. Hit. Hit. Good. Sniffing around. Hit. Ah. Good. Uh, sniffing around. Or what do you want, huh? What happened? Let me just fix this one. It's a Name is Bobby, but I call him Bob for short. Just look at him. Just look at him. Is he? Isn't that good, right, Bob? Good pardo, good pop.